common vaginal infections common vaginal infections which we see are trichomoniasis candidiasis and bacterial vaginosis okay the causative aid organism in trichomoniasis is no is a uh, flagellate known as trichomonas vaginalis in candidiasis it is a fungal fungus known as candida albicans in bacterial vaginosis actually it is an alteration in the normal vaginal flora right it is not as such due to one causative agent it is due to an alteration because there is an imbalance in the vaginal flora causing the uh, less pathogenic organisms to become more active and cause the uh, condition of bacterial vaginosis uh, organisms such as Gardnerella vaginalis, Mycoplasma, Mogbilinkis, Peptostreptococcus are seen to, uh, are seen to um, commonly cause this bacterial vaginosis. Clinical features of a patient presenting with trichomoniasis is usually complain of a frothy discharge per vagina, pruritus, dysuria and a spotting PV. A patient with candidiasis will say they are suffering from some kind of a discharge and mainly intense pruritus. A patient of bacterial vaginosis will complain of some kind of a watery a mucus discharge but with the presence of a malodor. A patient who is having a bacterial infection, bacterial vaginal infection also presents a complaints of a discharge, pruritus and dysuria. And upon local examination, you will see that patients with trichomoniasis, the discharge will be visualized as a greenish white and a mucopurulent type of uh, discharge. And the cervix is shows the presence of uh, reddish spots. We call it as strawberry spots on the cervix. Uh, candidiasis patients, upon examination, you will visualize a thick, curdy white vaginal discharge which is very characteristic to a candidiasis patient and patients with bacterial vaginosis uh, you will uh, notice that the discharge is thin gray it is homogeneous in nature and uh, suffering and having a fishy odor bacterial infection it will be purulent nature uh, you can perform something called as a koh test potassium hydroxide test which is mainly for the uh, diagnosis of bacterial vaginosis. We also call it as a WIF test, wherein you apply a drop of KOH onto the discharge and that releases a, a particular malodor, right? And that can be diagnosed, that will be diagnosis of your bacterial vaginosis. It doesn't necessarily be, it is not necessarily positive in the rest of the conditions. Bacterial vaginosis also has something called as the AMSIL criteria, which we use for the diagnosis of it. When you perform microscopy, upon microscopy in a patient with trichomoniasis, you will see the presence of flagellate trichomonads on the wet mount. In candidiasis, you will see presence of hyphae and buds uh, and you prepare the mount in 10% potassium hydroxide solution and that which will show the presence of this hyphae and buds. Bacterial vaginosis, you will see presence of flue cells, they are nothing but leukocytes and on saline wet mount. This should be performed on a saline wet mount. Bacterial infection, you will see many types of leukocytes. The treatment of our patients with trichomoniasis is uh, metronidazole 500 mg twice daily for 7 days. Candidiasis patients, they are treated with fluconazole 150 mg stat dose or a weekly dose for uh, duration of 4 weeks. Patients of bacterial vaginosis, are treated with again metronidazole that's a drug of choice 500 mg twice daily for seven days bacterial infection can be treated with the uh, respective antibiotics